welcome to pavitra laptop care see in any schematic after this ic you are able to see these two mosfets in some ics i'm telling this one will be internal or sometimes it will be external hmm? almost in core section and this one charging ic section and ram ic section almost all in old laptops it will be outside one thing will you observe see what is this this is b plus plus 19 volts but what about this how 19 will convert as a 3 volts you know that the mosfet gate should be 25 volts and then here the voltage will pass here right it means 19 should come here but how 3 volts we are getting okay leave it 3 volts but what about 5 volts how it come hmm in ram section 1.5 volts that also we will check that here see here also positive 19 volts and here it's 1.5 volts how this mosfet this is actually in, in general mosfet right so in in general mosfet if gate is 25 volts then here is the source i mean drain is the 19 volts then 19 volts you should get but you are getting different different voltages 3 volts 5 volts and here it's a 1.5 volts any idea how it will come and how it will convert using these two mosfets today i am going to show you step by step each and every functions i am going to show you before that if you are not subscribed by channel subscribe it open any one video if you want to learn complete laptop chip level services then press join button Welcome and here there are two options per month 299 plan it's only for schematic reading and one more is 799 plan it's complete chip level services this kind of videos multiple are there i mean it's going to add i will come back to the topic see the 1.5 volts 3.3 volts and 5 volts is purely depending on the first mosfet the duty cycle of on of this particular mosfet is the result of this understood once again i'll repeat the duty cycle of this first mosfet is the result of this means this voltage is purely depend on duty cycle of this first mosfet how long it will be in on position that time what the average voltage will come that you will get here now you understood right no not it okay i do one thing i will show you practically how it will show in oscilloscope okay so let us begin the practical section see here i have taken two in channel mosfets here one in channel and other one q2 is a in channel mosfet here the source this source is connected to drain of this second mosfet and here first mosfet drain is connected to the 19 volt supply and here the source of second mosfet is connected to the ground okay now this one is the phase for gate voltage everyone knows the mosfet 25 volts should come in gate voltage then only it will be in on position so that is the reason here is a positive 25 volts and here is a negative 25 volts i am going to give after giving this 25 25 volts i told you it's a depends on duty cycles how long it will be in on position and how long it will be in off position the average voltage will come in this point what is that point here is the source and drain of second mosfet first mosfet source and drain of the second mosfet is the average voltage here i have given to oscilloscope oscilloscope what is the pin number i will explain you see the to uh, there are total four channels are there one channel is connected to here 19 volts second channel is connected to the phase sorry not phase it's actually connected to first mosfet gate hmm? and c channel is connected to the second mosfet gate okay and d is the result the result is connected to the phase the phase voltage is connected to the multimeter okay the multimeter has connected to the phase and here d channel has connected to the phase now you got my point right 
A is 19 volts, B and C are these two positive and negative and D is the final output. Now 99% of the amplitude, what is that? Duty cycle. What will be the result at 30 Hz? I'll give the 30 Hz frequency here and what will be the result in oscilloscope. Let us check and even is the multimeter also is given. What will be the voltage here? That also you can check here. Hmm? See, now I'm going to run this. Now the voltage is 19.3 volts. What is the result here? Channel A. Absolutely it's 19.5 volts is paka. So there is no changes here. Channel B, what is that? Air frequency and channel C. See, both are 25 and 25. This is plus 25 and here is the minus 25 volts as given. Once it gives, so here complete voltage will come, right? The other reason, if complete voltage will come, definitely it will go to ground and it will get burn. So the other reason, 99% duty cycle has given, 1% will be in off condition. See, the blue color, light blue is this one this gate hmm. now this is the on position how long it will be on position depends on that you will get the phase right so now i'll reduce the duty cycle and you can check the multimeter till 5.1 volts 3.3 volts 1.5 volts practically we will check it at what a duty cycle you will get the result now i'll reduce it's 90 i'll reduce what will be the voltage see for 90 duty cycle, 17.5 volts. At 85, at 85, it's a 16.5. Okay, again, it's 80. Means 80% 80 if first MOSFET is on, then you will get 15.5 volts in case of 19 volts input. Now got my point. Now, 80 at 80% duty cycle, it's 15.5, right? So I will reduce to 75. Hmm. At 75 duty cycle, 14.6. I will reduce to 70. See, now it's 70 duty cycle, 13.65. Again, I will reduce 5%. It's a 65%. 65% the first MOSFET will be on and 35% second MOSFET will be on. So now at 65% on condition, you will get 12.6 volts. Average voltage in phase, you will get 12.6 volts. Okay, again I will reduce this, 60. At 60%, 11.69. Again, I will reduce it to 55%. See, 55%. What will be the input voltage? 19.5. And at 55%, it's a 10.7. What about 50% then? At 50%, its uh, input is 19.2, right, in phase. Now it's 9.7. Okay, exactly 50% duty cycle, 9.75. Now I'll reduce to 45%. See, at 45%, 8.7 volts you will get. Now I'll reduce slowly. Okay, now 40% I'll reduce. Then what will be the voltage? 7.7 .7, means 7.8 volts. Again 35%. At 35% it's 6.8. Okay, one by one I'll reduce and you can check till 5.1 volts will reduce step by step. Now there is no much difference. Slowly I'll reduce. See at 31 percent it's a 6.04 at 30 percent duty cycle 5.8 29 5.6 28 5.4 see we are reaching 5 volts section at 27 percent duty cycle it's a 5.2 yes we reached here usually we will get 5.2 volts okay anyway 5.1 will check at 26% duty cycle, you will get 5 volts. See, the first MOSFET should be on at 26% duty cycle. Now you got my point. At here, if you are giving 25 volts plus and minus to these two MOSFETs, 
at 26 percent duty cycle you will get 5 volts okay what about 3.3 then i'll reduce at 25 4.8 24 4.6 23, 4.4, 22, 4.3, 8% just a minute, 22 was there, at 22, 4.2, 21, 4.0, 20, 3.9, see here the graph is moving, 3.9 9 at 20 percent and now so 19 percent 3.7 18 percent 3.5 17 percent see here is the result at 17 percent you will get 3.3 at 17 percent duty cycle of the first MOSFET you will get 3.3 volts at 26 percent right 26 percent duty cycle you will get 5.0 volts now what about 1.7 volts so again i'll reduce the duty cycle 3.1 15 2.9 14 2.7 13 2.5 12 2.3 11 2.1 10 1.9 9 1.7 8 1.5 see at 8 percent you will get 1.5 volts now you got my point right so how in schematic the first and second MOSFET you will get the particular voltage in the RAM section it's 1.2 or 0.6 in step down IC 3.3 volts at 5.1 of uh, 1 volts and in battery section it's a 2.8 something right so it uh, depends on this duty cycle here i showed here 30 sec uh, 30 hertz but the frequency will be vary and as per the duty cycle the voltage will generate okay that's it this is how your step down ic will generate from 19 volts to particular voltages that's it if you have any query any doubts or any suggestions you can put in comment box i will try to answer it okay anything else i think we will come back with a very interesting topic in next time so till the time bye thank you